Hi, I'm Cheryl, Hope Specialist, and I'm meeting with a couple today that knows Chris Haskell. Chris Haskell, the sign avenger, the activist, the filmmaker, and humanitarian. Many people are coming forward to support Chris, but for everyone's protection, not everyone would like to be on the camera. And so today, we're gonna to ask a few questions of someone who knows Chris in this community. Hi. Hi. How long have you known Chris? Oh, I've known Chris a number of years. We've both known Chris. We're neighbors. We're neighbors. We're neighbors. We're neighbors. We know each other. Yeah. Yeah. That was fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah. That's excellent. And, and how do you know Chris? Um, I guess we just met. Um, he was walking down the street one day, I think, and I, I, we started talking, and, and I really liked him. And, and we, we yeah. talked around. He was doing metal detecting in our driveway with John here, because John. And he, he up in his ears. Yep. But he helped, he just entertained him for a while, finding pennies in the driveway and just, just different things we do. Yeah. yeah. Excellent, excellent. Were you aware that Chris was putting out signs about geoengineering or being chemtrails? Always, yes. Yeah, so you've seen the signs? Oh, yes. And, and what, did you, what did you think? There you've got I a neighbor that's really involved. I think we need more people like him, so I think, I think we need more people putting up signs if there could be, I mean, Yes, I, I've known about it, and I've, I've, I support what he does completely. Was he responsible in any way of educating you about chemtrails? Well, I, I, I was aware of chemtrails. Mm -hmm. I am aware of chemtrails. I have been, so that made me really, you know, happy that he was, because I haven't been a voice in the community. I'm glad that he is, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, we need more people to make people aware. Yeah, absolutely. Of chemtrails. absolutely. Yeah. Were, were you aware that, um, Chris has been arrested and yes. is uh, now being charged. Yes, I heard the the day they were arresting, they were looking for him. I heard, I heard, um, come out with your hands up, and, and I told John, John, did you hear that? And he did, he didn't hear it, and I and I went looking, and I seen that his house was surrounded, and I thought, what in the world, you know? Right. And uh, it was really bothersome, but yeah, I was aware of that. Yeah. That's uh, a terrible. very traumatic kind of very, event for everybody. Very, because he did nothing but good, and I couldn't yeah. understand why in the world cops were there at his house, you know, because he does nothing but help and put, put out good, so I couldn't understand it. If there's, there's anything that um, you might say that might uh, tell someone, like you, you're telling us today that Chris is just a great guy, something that you might tell people to say, support him, pray for him, uh, even help to support his defense fund and become aware. What, what is it that you might want to tell the community and the world about Chris? I just wish that they could see him like I see him because he's just, uh, it's really bothers me that this is happening because I, I can see he's so not deserving of any of this going on. He's done, done nothing but try to enlighten people and help people and make us all aware as a community what's going on to, for our own sake. You know, so um, I would just ask if anybody could do anything to keep him from having to, to go to jail or anything, they would, they would do what they can because this is just not, shouldn't be happening. Yeah. Would you like to add something to that? No, everything, I, I concur with everything that the family has said. Plus, I, he's a good guy, uh, it's obvious, and he's doing the right thing. It's a good cause. And we support him in any way we can. Thank you. That yes. interview, I, I think, has been helpful to, uh, to tell people uh, what is going on. You're welcome. This is Cheryl, Hope Specialist. And I invite you to open your eyes. Look up, look around, open your mind, do your research, and open your heart. Send prayers. Bless these activists that they are exercising their First Amendment right to tell people of what is going on now. And I also invite you to open your wallet to help Chris with his defense fund. I thank you for listening and stay tuned. There'll be other interviews for we are all each other's hope. Thanks, Chris. Thank you.